Hello everyone, welcome to episode 50 of my trailer Let's Play. So in the last episode, it was Christmas. We went all out in terms of Christmas trees. I think they're awesome looking. They're, they're, it's, it's really cool. It's, it's a cool addition to the game. We bought, you know, a, a Santa outfit. We had Santa spawn. We killed the Frost Legion. Santa sells all kinds of new items relative to the update. Never used to sell this stuff before. I think it's really cool. We could even, if we really wanted to, we could chain these lights up in our house and actually use them as light sources. And they actually are pretty cool. You know, we could do it. We might. I don't know. But in this episode, I think I'm going to clean up my inventory. Oh, that was a huge bubble. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go at least take a peek at Hard Mode Dungeon. I haven't really explored it yet. I haven't explored it all in this Let's Play, that is. So, I wanted to sell this. And I'm going to keep this shackle because something we can do later is mana cuffs. And I believe it's when we get hit, we regen mana. And... That stacks really well with items that give you life, you know. Like, when you cause damage with mana, you get life. It's just a really good combination. So, of course, I should actually quick stack this. And we have so much snow from the Frost Legion. Okay, this is like a vanity. Didn't I have a vanity thingy? I think I did. Yeah, you were vanity. So, is this thingy? We got a, we got a Red Rider BB gun. I think that's pretty funny. So, this is... It's not really potion or anything, but it's consumables with buffs. In fact, I'm going to take them, and we're going to use them there, because we'll get free stat improvements. Pine trees are blocks. Well, pine tree blocks are blocks, so we're going to leave them here. We're going to leave the presents in our inventory so they don't take up inventory space, obviously. I'm not going to fight the Frost Legion currently, right now, anyway. I could bring this campfire with me, because it'll give me a free regen, so I'm going to. Uh, do I have a tree without garland on it? We do. Let's get fancy. Boom. Actually, you know what? Eh, no, we'll leave it there. Let's put one more. Let's get garland on this tree. I kept, I kept calling it tinsel in the last episode. Maybe it's probably the same thing. But, I guess we have red and green up there. A lot of yellow or a lot of white. Let's do green and red. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, just being festive here. Don't mind me. I think it's cool looking. I love this stuff. It's so cool. Uh... Those are more stat improvements. We're going to take it. Wait, can I sell this? Yeah, okay. That's, that's just going to be merchant fodder. Because I don't particularly need it. Uh, we have plenty of musket balls. Uh, da, da, da. I don't need a cactus workbench on me. Magic mirror we're going to need. Okay, so we're going to go to hard mode dungeon. And it's going to be pretty crazy. I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> so, what we're going to go for, essentially... Wisp in a bottle would be lovely. It'll light up the darkness for us, so I won't always have to keep a torch out, but more than likely I will, because it's just a really, you know, easy way to light everything up for you. But it'll help show you guys things, because it just follows you and lights up the area. I want to get Ectoplasm, which is for Spectre Armor, which is very important to progression, progression, because you get life on hit with it, and it's really good. It's just really, really handy. And plus, it looks really cool. But we're wearing our Santa outfit right now, you know, Maybe maybe just for the duration of the holiday update, but I'm going to wear it. Uh, of course, we have bat wings, but we can get ghost wings or specter wings or... I don't even know what they're called. Specter? Spectacle? Specter? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I'm just so excited. You know, Christmas update. I'm happy. But anyway, I'm going to get rid of this mushroom. <laughs> Mushrooms are bad. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go over here and we're going to try and get some cool stuff. If we could get the Magnet Sphere to drop, that would be huge. It'd be incredibly important if we did. Oh, found more Deathweed Seeds. Oh, I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> and that is the sand that helped us make our house. <laughs> we totally destroyed it. Alright, we're almost here at the dungeon. Uh, is there anything else in there? I mean, there's a lot of like random rare drops I could really use. I don't know if the Inferno Fork comes from here. I think it might be the Red Devils that drop it. <laughs> Meteor spawns. Anyway. There's just a lot of good stuff that drops from Hardware Dungeon. A lot of the really good items come here. Come from here. So. We're gonna basically be killing a lot of monsters. We could also... Okay, here's something we could be doing. I know I'm rambling a lot. But it's hard mode now. And all monsters have a chance to drop a, a key depending on what biome they're in. So like, you get the jungle biome, you get the jungle key. So, yeah. So when we're killing things, you know, like over here in the hollowed area, we could get a hollowed key. That was a new monster you saw right there, so we know it's hardwood dungeon. 
He shoots rockets at us, and he's not cool. So, we're going to make sure we kill him before he causes mass damage. He really hurts. You now want to mess with him. So let's get some ectoplasm. As far as I'm aware, every monster that dies in the dungeon has a chance to drop a, like a, it's like, it's like a ghost or something, a spirit, I don't know what it's called, dungeon spirit, and when you kill it, it drops ectoplasm. So we need a lot of that for spectro armor, and I want a wisp in a bottle, so we need a lot of stuff. We're, this might be a good spot to fight it. And I'm not sure exactly how the spawns work. I think, depending on the background, different things can spawn. So like right now we're getting a lot of these armored skeletons. And wow, we got the broken armor debuff. That's not cool. But anyway, I think different areas in the dungeon have different monster spawns. Oh crap, he's 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 a uh, he's a big concern. That's come on, get this out. Necromancer, uh yeah, he he shoots at us with that sp that spell. And we can get that spell. It's called the Shadow Beam Staff. It is so darn good. And they, they also nerfed it because it was so crazy good. And when he hits us, we get slowed. But if we get the Onk Charm, we will be immune to that. Which will be amazing. Amazingly handy. So we got to be careful. Especially if one of those pops up again. They pop up randomly, and man, do they just do mass amount of damage. Every time you hit them, they teleport away. They're just not fun to deal with. I'm actually going to get this candle because we do want to kind of force spawns. As much as we can. I probably should have kept that metal shelf because I can place the candle on it. But anyway, we're going to use the candle to force spawns because we want to kill more monsters to have more chances at certain items. Anyway, the background changed. Let's see if we get different spawns. Okay. Yeah, we weren't getting the red ones up there. We were getting the blue ones. Again, I think that was a pre hard mode enemy. They still have a chance of spawning pre hard mode, pre -hard mode enemies. That is. Through these spikes. I was just mining them so I don't do what I just did here. Okay, so we oh we have the blue skeletons again, which is not bad. Let's see, rusty armored bones. And this okay. I saw him teleport and I I panicked a little bit. It's just the pre hard mode one. Sometimes they spawn. They definitely scare you because you're expecting the worst. Oh wait, there it was! Got ectoplasm. That thing died and it dropped it. Like, what it does is, like, they die, then they have a chance of spawning that enemy. That enemy drops sectoplasm, which is cool. Ooh, okay, Skeleton Sniper. Those shoot you off-screen. And if they hit you, they can do, like, half of your health in one hit. So, yeah. They also drop their sniper rifle, which, darn, we didn't get. But it's an amazing item. Oh, man. If you, if you, if you are a ranger and you stack damage the right way, you can hit, like, a thousand-something. That's crazy. <laughs> That's like one-hitting a lot of... Well, you're not going to one-hit a boss, because I think bosses just have, like... I think Ayakathulu has, like... Over, I think he has over a thousand. But anyway, I don't think there's any monster with less than a thousand HP. But you're going to one-hit players. <laughs> you can do some crazy damage. Okay. So... Ooh, hey, he's, he's new. I don't like him. Alright, let's get out of here. My phone- Oh, shoot! I'm gonna say my phone's blinking. Yeah, you don't want to mess with those skeleton commandos. Those rockets are no joke. And there's another one. Yeah, they're, they're called commandos. Oh, something I didn't mention. The paladin. He can spawn, and he ha he's like a mini-boss. He's a rare spawn. He has... Maybe 4,000 HP? And the worst part is, he shoots a like a hammer in rapid succession that goes through walls. If it hits you, it like always does 100 damage. Like somewhere in that range anyway. It, it hurts. Can I pee through here? Come this way. You're, you, thankfully, you're just a dark caster. Okay, let's uh, let's scare him. Hey buddy. Oh, I want to check my phone. My, my phone's blinking, I'm sorry. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, so we're getting these guys. Oh, he, he's a different one, Bone Lee. He's an incredibly fast monster. And, as you can see, he's kind of jumping around everywhere. He drops ninja gear, like the tabby, which is like the sock. Uh, he can drop a black belt, and you can combine some of these accessories. I think if you combine that with the climbing claws and stuff, you get the ninja gear. Basically, it's just a different monster with a different drop. Something cool. Ooh, a skeleton sniper. We gotta kill him. Let's just get in his face and keep hitting him so he can't shoot us. 
darn, no sniper drop. Yeah, I really want a sniper. They're cool to have. Ooh, look at that conga line of zombies. Skeletons. Ooh. Oh, nope, no, that's just an ancient necro helmet. I, s I saw a green, I'm like, ooh, something cool. Nope. Oh, nope, nope. 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 Basically, you want to get a ranged weapon that goes far, because he just teleports away every time. Good. Hit him to the wall. Gotta be careful. He hurts. He's no joke. I would love to get his... Oh, crap. He's even worse. I could die here. I hate that guy. Oh, shit. That's a paladin. <laughs> well, we're hurt right now. We're... Oh, shit. No. Ah! <laughs> oh, you know how much gold we just dropped? Two gold coins. Oh, we dropped three platinum. Oh, sorry, my neck hurts. Oh my god, that sucked. Oh, we're going back. I didn't even use my buffs, but we're going back. This is what I was talking about, hard mode dungeon. It is. It's hard. It really is. You, you got to be careful. I mean, sure, I could set up like a farm, but what I mean is like a line. And basically, monsters walk into me. There's no, like, spawning above me or below me and shooting me through the wall. That's boring, honestly. I'm sure, it's efficient, but my, my, it's gonna take a while to mine through that block. That stuff's tough. But I mean, we we could find an area in camp. I was just exploring to see if we could get different spawns. And I got to show you, you know, like the necromancer or whatever that shoots that shadow beam staff. And that, I think it's called the lost soul. I think that's what it said at the bottom. He shoots that stuff that blinds you, and he shoots it really quick, and it hurts. Ugh. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if my if I had, like, the life regen, as I'm talking about. Because, you know, your potions really cannot keep up with the damage we get there. And I didn't even notice the pallet in there. Ugh. That sucks. I've never gotten the pallet and drop his hammer. It would have been nice to get that. Uh, I really should probably set my spawn over here. I mean, th this could happen a lot. It could die a lot and have to come back over, which I don't, you know, want to have happen, but it could. My mission right now is to get back down there and get my uh, coins. Because three platinum dropping, that's no joke. It's a lot of money. Pretty important. Especially for our rerolls. I mean, I could go reroll all my things and get a, get warding, but I don't think I want to keep half the stuff. I mean, I might keep my balloons or something. I'll probably keep my specter boots. I think there's... Oh, no, there's lightning boots I didn't even make. Oh crap, I can make those. You need an aglet, I believe. Oh man, someone's probably like, why don't you make that? Oh, I, I forgot. Happens. Okay, so let's get down here and get our stuff. That sucks. <laughs> we go from the last episode, which is like, nice, relaxed, making things look cool, and getting Christmas trees, and this episode, dying in the dungeon. A brutal death. Okay. Okay, you're just a regular one. You gotta be careful. Okay, now where did I die? It was like down here on that next staircase kind of thing. I think. This guy has so much defense. Ouch. That's 10 damage, I don't, 10 damage I do not need to take. Okay, so I think I died over here to the right. Let's not get hit. Okay, I think I died down here. Yes, coins. Okay. Let's be careful. I would like to get a pound and I want to kill him. I want to get a drop. I've never had his hammer. I think he also dropped something else. A paladin shield, maybe? I don't know. I don't even know what it's called. Never looked into that one too much. Okay, so this was a dead end. For some reason, I thought that blue candle. I wasn't looking, then I looked back. I thought it was a necromancer to spawn. I'm like, uh oh. Thankfully, it was not. Hey. Walk into my stuff, please. Thank you. I'm glad I have all these torches in here. That's what I did it for. So you wouldn't have to come back and really light it up or anything. No, come back here. I want to hit you through the wall. Help help the brother out. Come on. Kill you. I need more ectoplasm. Lots and lots of ectoplasm. I'll even show you with a guide I'll talk to. Oh, crap. Okay. Gotta shut up for a second. I'll show you with a guide. You know, like the things I can do with the ectoplasm. That's something we can do is use the walls to our advantage when he spawns and hide and shoot through them. So I'm probably gonna do that more. I was trying to get trying to use the golden shower more, but it really wasn't working out for us. I mean, it's good as a starter weapon because it weakens them. And then we can use death sickle. Okay. Rusty bones. 
<laughs> armored burns, I should say. Oh, 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 you see that? That's a paladin. Okay. So you know what? This stuff keeps hurting me. I'm gonna press B, because I haven't used my buffs. Please don't despawn, paladin. Cool. See how he shoots those hammers and they go through the wall? As long as we keep hitting him, he doesn't, sh doesn't throw at us. So we have to keep the damage on him. Unlike what I just did there. He's got, what, 4,000 health? 5,000 health, even worse. Let's just keep hitting him. Death sickle's pretty good for this. My weapon goes through walls too, mister. And nothing. But he does drop a fair amount of money. Presents. Gonna get a lot of those as we farm down here. Okay, I would like to find a tactical skeleton, I think it's called. He uses a shotgun and drops the tactical shotgun, which is really good. And if you use chloroflate bullets with it, it's a shotgun that never misses. With any of its spray. It's really good. Okay, so unfortunately this isn't lit up for some reason. Fire ran out of torches. Oh shit, oh shit, wasn't paying attention. I cannot hit this. Come on, you need to spawn up here, mister. Oh man, he's so hard to see. Okay. Nothing from him. I don't know if he has a specific drop. Hey, another skeleton sniper. You know you want to. Drop it. Aww, he dropped the scope. Not what I was looking for. But I can show you what it does if I do it real quick. It's an accessory and I like hold zoom or something. I think I, I think I have to have a gun and I right click. You can basically kind of look off screen. It's pretty cool, but not really that useful. Ooh, ooh, ectoplasm. Cool. I'm not really getting a lot of it. And as far as I'm aware, you know, more than one can drop from a single whatever they are. But we haven't gotten, you know, a good drop. Yet. Well, unless I didn't notice one. Who knows? Kind of focused on staying alive right here. Okay, what I'm going to do is get rid of this. This is See, this is a good spot to camp. And what I mean is, it's flat. There's not a lot of area under me. I mean, it could spawn here. Like like a, a, a necromancer could pop down there, but he wouldn't really be able to shoot up here, I don't think. Just having them fall down in a straight line really works out for you. Hey, Boonly. Just stay right there. And heck, if monsters stay directly above me. I can just death sickle them through the, the wall. Okay, let's take care of these spikes. Alright. No, 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 no. Oh, so. More ectoplasm. How much do I have? Six? I think somebody said I needed like 50 something for the full set. I don't, I don't remember. You know, I'm kind of kind of focused right now, but yeah. I, I will need a lot. Uh, what do I want to go for first? Definitely the full specter set. Getting a wisp. And a bottle. That would be nice. You can't craft it. Okay. Nope. I'm pressing free now. I will drax you. It hits so fast. <laughs> uh, this is not the right tool to be using. Kill you through the wall because I can. More ectoplasm. See, look, there's two in one drop there. That's what we want to see. That's another paladin. So, let's weaken him. Keep doing this to him. You know, I wonder if we stand here. If he'll do just that. Okay. So if you want an easy way to kill a paladin, there you go. Okay, there's my dog's collar again, sorry. Alright. Kill these guys. Come on, I'm trying to get my ectoplasm over here. Stop it. Two. Cool. Wisp in a bottle, wisp in a bottle. I'm not even sure what drops it. If everything has a chance to drop it, or it's those things that spawn that have a chance. Which really would make it problematic to find one, because they, ha they have a chance to spawn, and then their item has a chance to spawn. So, yeah. Wisdom bottles are awesome to have, though. I thought I disarmed, like, most of the traps in here. Guess I did not. Let's break it. You break it, you buy it. No, 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 no broken armor. Oh, I didn't even see him. Okay. Kelting commandos are jerks. He's still alive. Take care of that. Oh, whoa. for some reason I thought there was a. I saw the skeleton sniper, but I thought the sniper dropped. That was weird. Alright, let's go over here. Get back in our spot. See, we're taking a lot of damage. Ooh, 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 skeleton sniper, gotta be careful. Nope, nope, you're not sure. Yes! Oh, it has a bad roll on it. 
minus speed and velocity. But I get to show you what this does. I don't have chlorified bullets, which are absolutely the best for it. Because, of course, a sniper rifle is slower firing. And, you know, if you miss, well, that sucks. But if you have chlorified bullets, they hit for you. So, I don't have range gear on, so my damage won't be optimal. But look, without ranged gear, I critted for a 200, 290. It's really good. And chlorified bullets do more damage than this. I mean, I think range is the best DPS class. But I think magic is one of the better survival classes because it can do a lot of damage to a lot of different enemies with, you know, the ability to life regen. And you can say the same for, like, melee because, you know, you can wear turtle armor, which has an incredibly high, you know, amount of defense, and then you can use vampire knives, which heal you. I'm not sure if there's any ranged weapons that heal you. I don't know. But, yeah, there's so many different ways you can play the game. I mean, it's not like you can't just switch between armor sets either. Just saying. All kinds of cool stuff you can do. Okay. Yoink. I play in that one. All right. Come on, more paladins. Paladins are good money. I want to get their stuff. Never had it before. I want it. Oh, you know, I probably should have placed this forever ago. That's free regen. Another present. Okay, let's, let's mess around with the sniper a little bit. And this is a sniper with a bad roll. We could get an unreal one, which will shoot faster and do more damage. See, I mean, we would never miss those shots with a chlorified bullet. It would just home in. I love it. Just so much damage. Okay. Pee on you. Come on. Yeah. See, the golden shower really works when there's a line of enemies, but, you know, when you're doing single target damage, it's not, not bad, but it's not the greatest. It's good with the amount of knockback it has, just a little bit. Enough to keep him at bay. Alright. Oh, I hit that pressure plate again. I'm like, uh-oh. Let's get rid of this so I don't have to keep walking into it. Get rid of those blue bricks. Just trying to lay things up. I really should place that blue candle. Hey, Boone Lee. Let me pee on you so you're... Oh, we kill him first. Pee on you. No, 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 no. Your you're, you're target, your priority number, numero uno. Okay. It's really those mages that teleport out of nowhere that are a real thorn in my side in the dungeon. They're surprised in of themselves, and the stuff that they use to hurt you is so effective. Oh, crap. I would like to be seeing the other ones more, though, the necromancers. I want their drop. I don't think those guys have a specific drop. Could be totally wrong. I just know I want the Shadow Beam staff. That's something that's really nice to have. Pardon me while I move around in my chair here a little bit. Oh, hey, look, a necromancer. Speak of the devil. I keep using my wall thing here to my advantage. Okay, no shadow beam staff. I've only ever had it one time, but at that time I wasn't playing a mage. And since I was on the server, I used it a few times. I'm like, eh, it's cool. And then I gave it to my mage buddy. So, I <laughs> never really got to use it a lot, unfortunately. Boon Lee, you need to get out of here. Oh, hey, look, he dropped the black belt. Gives us a chance to dodge attacks. Uh, okay, now a funny story about that. You used to be able to use it. And if you did it right, you could have turtle armor. And you could kill the, the dungeon guardian with it. The thing with like 9,999 HP. That you can only hit for one. It, it was pretty funny, and I'm pretty sure they patched it. But yeah, that was something you could do. can no longer do it as far as I'm aware. Not quite sure how dodging even works. Like, if it just says, you dodge the attack. Like, just as dodge it above your head. Or if you just straight up take no damage and you get, like, a buff or something. Not sure I never used it. Don't honestly think it's worth an accessory slot. Could be wrong. Uh, okay, I never claim to be right. Kind of want to go down there. Just do that. Okay. Kill these guys. Episode's getting to be about 20-something minutes. 24 minutes. Keep killing things, see what we can do in the remaining time. Would love to find a cool item. More presents. How many presents do we have? 22. Cool. Let's keep them coming. We're going to want more snow globes. We want to fight the Frost Legion more. That's a lot of money there. I didn't think we had six platinum. I mean, when we died, we lost half of our money. And apparently we had six platinum. Must A lot of that must have came from the... Uh, 
Frost Legion. Okay. We also blew a lot of it on the uh, on Santa Claus. Do I still have this? Let's be a little bit stupid and put this here. Now we're going to have more spawns. <laughs> now things are going to get real. Hopefully. <laughs> Look how that skeleton's upside down. <laughs> pee on you. you. You'll never get down here. I can pee all day. Oh, we can go down here. I drank a whole bottle of Coke. Right, let's kill this guy. Down here would be a good spot to stand, too. That would actually be a really good spot to stand. Different background. Don't know if there's different monsters. So far, I'm content with what's here. I'm getting a, a good mix of everything. Put a torch down here. There's a bunch of monsters over there. Oh, nope, just one. I lied. We got a couple here. Yeah, watch out for this spike ball. This doesn't make... This does not help that I'm camping here and there's spike balls everywhere. Ooh, more ectoplasm. No ectoplasm. How much do we have? Twelve. That's not going to get us the set, so... We're not going to worry about it. Come on, wisp in a bottle. Come on, magnet spear. Magnet spear. I don't know what drops the magnet spear. Probably between this episode and the next, I'll look it up. Just, you know... So I'm not killing things aimlessly for an hour. It kind of happened when I was in the the Crimson and I was looking for Icker. I didn't remember that the Icker, uh, Icker stickers only spawned in underground Crimson. Like, not just being underground. You had to be in like the cavern layer or whatever it's called. So, just to avoid some confusion, I'll probably look that up. Oh, more presents. Yeah. I can't believe this is episode 50. Man, that's a lot. It's <laughs> cool. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, you're not You're not what I thought. I thought you were going to be the, the awesome necromancer. You're just a dark caster or whatever. Bowden Lee, you just got pooped on, man. I feel bad for you. Alright, so I'm going to call it here. This was episode 50 of my Toray Let's Play. You know, last episode was all about Christmas updates. This episode... It's all about the dungeon, and oh my god! Holy bacons! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can't see. <laughs> trying, to, trying to wrap up here. <laughs> this is episode 50 of my trailer, let's play. We came to the dungeon, we were looking for stuff, and by stuff I mean ectoplasm, wisp in a bottle, just miscellaneous awesome drops from the dungeon. We've gotten a few, we've gotten a sniper rifle, which is pretty cool. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.